All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Happy Friday, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's ready for the weekend. I know I am. What a busy week we had this week. And let me tell you, we got another pre market runner. You could see SCKT. I'm going to do a bunch of shout outs today because you guys kick butt today at 8 a.m. Early bird gets the money. Look at that stock at 8 o'clock this morning. If you were all here when you were supposed to, you could have got in at 3. Guess what? If you got out of 340 at the first shake, you got out the second shake at 380, you bought it, you maybe went at $4, you pretty much should be done for the day. But the market's not even open, but we got plenty to talk about. And I got a bunch of people I want to do a quick shout out for. But before we do that, everybody, let's go hop on and talk about, about the debates yesterday. Um, you know, hopefully everybody finally got the debates out of the way. Uh, you're seeing a lot of a lot of markets moving due to it. Markets up, uh, was up about, about 100 when I was looking at it, 80, 90 points. So um, markets obviously is, is, listen, as long as the market's flat, we don't have no chaos going on, we, we should be fine. But um, hopefully everybody now knows exactly where everybody stands. And remember, knowing exactly how the pol uh, politicians, if it's Trump or Biden, what, whoever wins, you can see certain stocks are going to react to the market due to, um, or certain stocks and industries are going to react to certain uh, to to their policies. So, um, and once again, the day after uh, the election, you're going to see stocks get crushed, and you're going to see stocks fly. So, I'm really, really looking forward to it. You know, funny thing is, we did the Cyber Expo yesterday, and uh, my buddy uh, Price Headley, if you guys watched him. He said something really funny and, and, and was the opposite of what I said, and which actually I do agree with him. I said, I am so sick of 2020. I just want to get out of 2020. All this stuff that's going on with the hurricanes and this and the virus. And I'm like, I just want to erase 2020. And he's like, you know what? He said, and he, and he said the opposite. He goes, give me another 2020 back. I This has been the, one of the best years ever. And you know what? I actually have to agree with him. He's right. In a way of, as a you know, as a society goes, it is chaos. As a trader, you're right. You you want that uh, that chaos because that's where we had all liquidity. I mean, where do you get the market go from twenty nine thousand down to eighteen thousand, back up 10,000 10, points, back to twenty nine thousand? I mean, I'll take that any day. You know, I know you guys do would in trading. But with that said, let's go talk about and uh, let's go look at a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. And let's talk about what happened yesterday because yesterday actually was a pretty good day, actually, uh, shockingly. But we're gonna we'll come back to the uh, this stock and a bunch of stocks that are moving this morning. Um, first of all, let's start off with, with or with the SQBG. Okay, so let me fix the time frame here so you guys can see what's going on. So this stock right here was absolutely mayhem. Stock in pre market ran from six dollars to eighteen dollars. This thing was just on fire. Okay, and then boom, it came right back down. It was a great short squeeze. Stock got halted in and out. Listen, that's day trading at its best right there. That stock was just really unbelievable. Great move, great, great, uh, great profit making. EPA, another one. Stock went from two fifty to seven dollars. Where do you find things like this? I mean, hey, right here, it was just a great, great move. A lot of you guys did 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 really well on that stock too. Uh, Snapchat. You know, stock was just strong all day, and then it had a nice late uh, run uh, going into the uh, in the afternoon. A lot of shakes, a little dangerous stock. Got to be careful with that one. Uh, Snapchat. I mean, not Snapchat. Uh, what was it? Interest. Okay. So, <laughs> believe it or not, I sold the stock. I got a little nervous, and ended up buying it back, ended up paying an extra, you know, fifteen hundred dollars more where I sold it. I'm so ticked off at myself. But anyway, Pinterest is also doing pretty well. And those are actually our swing trades, okay? So that one did well. Airlines, I don't know what happened, but they all kind of took off. I told you, I'm a bit of a fan of airlines. I, I can't see these airlines being here next year. When the coronavirus is done, you're going to see these airlines. People are going to start flying again. So um, these are more of a long-term play. What else had a big move? And uh, and obviously, we have the one in free market. By the way, a bunch of people made money this morning. A couple of shout outs. Uh, Chuck Z made 39 cents on uh, the SCKT. Neil made 9 cents. He made another 12 cents. B 
Deborah M made 15 cents. Chuck C made 29 cents, which is a different Chuck, by the way. All right. Deborah M also made 19 cents on the Z D G um, the Z D G E, which we're going to look at next. So there was a lot of good pre-market trades going on this morning. So let's go, let's go hop over there and see which one what they're doing now. So we got the stock right here. You can see it. Um, there's a really big, big, big iceberg order. Big market makers out there. Look, you can see right here. Actually, look over here on the top right. Let me just draw this up for you so you can see it. Uh, right here, you can see this guy. Where is he? Right there. Four dollars, right? Look at that. Whole number. 58, 56,000 shares. What do you think is going to happen when it gets close to four, huh? Look at that. That's day trading at its best, okay? That's what we teach you. That's how you play the game. So until that guy releases and gets out of the way, the stock is really not going to go anywhere. Which, by the way, that could happen. And no, they are not fake trades. There's only only thing that's fake in this world is fake news. I would say that. These are not fake orders. And if you think it's fake, go out there and try to hit... Use your account and execute the guy and let me know how that works out for you. So that stock is doing pretty well. Let's hop over to the ZBGE. Okay, so this one right here is, is doing a lot better now. Um, it looks like she just started running, actually. I mean, this one is doing better than the SCKT. So listen, if you missed out on the SCKT, Look at that. You got the ZDGE, and which, by the way, I'm seeing orders. Look at them get taken out over here on the offer. You can see these trades right here. Nice spread, nice move. Look at that. Beautiful stock. At 845, the stock was 220. You're almost talking up a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. That's right, a dollar. A thousand shares. You'd have made a thousand dollars. Congratulations. That's why people love making quarter million dollars trading the stock. You should be done for the day, all right? But we're not done. Listen, if you missed one, there's always new ones out there, right? Um, which, by the way, another stock that was in the good watch list. Oh, this one, CLF is another one I found. This one, I don't see, it hadn't made its move yet. It's hovering right here around the highs, which is, you know, got a couple of iceberg orders out there. Um, you can see the average traders trading between 100, 300. You got a couple of five, 6,000 shares. So I'll see how the stock opens up right here. It's traded five five hundred thousand already in pre market. Not bad. That one is on the uh, on the second list. Remember the wedding list I told you about? You know you got the A list and the B list. We're putting this on the B list. All right. A couple of the ones that are gonna um, I want to keep an eye on. Bimney gonna put this one on the B list. Sixteen percent up already. Two million shares. The reason why I like this stock because we just traded it not too long ago. The stock ran from two to four. And we traded back in October, ran away from a dollar to about $12. And yes, it did it in one day. Yeah, in one day. So uh, I always like to go back to my journal, see how we trade it, see how things worked out. But I'm going to keep an eye on that one. I always tell you this. You're going to trade these stocks again. Another one that's moving, SLBB. This one right here, trending down. I'm going to probably put this on the C list, okay? We saw what happened yesterday. Oh, was, was it? No, no, the Evo. Stock didn't go anywhere. And I put it on the B list. And all of a sudden, it was my, it was my, it was my, uh, thank God I put it back on the A list because that, uh, that guest <laughs> gave me a nice gift. <laughs> all right. So I always like to relate it to something, right? Uh, wedding gifts are great. What else have we got that's moving here? Oh, so Intel. What happened to Intel, right? Intel, obviously, earnings didn't win too good, good in, Intel. Stock is down 10%. Uh, it's got some support levels right around here. But you know we're not going to really trade Intel. It's a, it's a brand name stock. It moves pretty quickly. Stock doesn't really go anywhere. But they sure love talking about it. Another stock that crapped out. I don't know. I'm going to go ch check it back again. Is the MDGS. Did this thing go anywhere? There's another one. It's up about 17%. 4.6 million shares. It looks like it's trying. It started trending down. It's sort of around 8 o'clock this morning. And um, didn't have that nice trend like the SCKT did. And also the ZDGE. Now, what do we know today is? Today is Friday. Okay. What do we know about Fridays? It's, you know, the weekend. You know, um, you could have triple witchings that happen. Options expire. All that, all that good stuff that happens on a Friday. Especially being it's the third Friday. It's, it's a long weekend, a long week. Actually, it was five weeks. Well, we had Thursday, Friday. 
So um, thank God the next week ends on a Friday. I hate when it ends on like a like last last month. The last day of the pay period ended on a Wednesday. But um, but you still got plenty of stuff to go on. But Fridays, remember, not a lot of action goes on this morning. Be very careful in the morning. But Friday afternoons are actually pretty good. So don't just get too cocky. Remember, I told you Thursdays are uh, are our best days to trade. Fridays, you know, when I graph myself, I'm like a 50-50, you know, on, on winners towards losers. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to fix that, uh, that percentage better. Um, and by doing that, I don't get too aggressive. So don't be shocked in the cyber group room if I'm not too, you know, um, too chatty as much as I would like to be, because I like to, uh, you know, a lot of people like to, you know, uh, finish out the week and says, you know what? I got a nice little money. I don't want to give it back. I guess, uh, I guess that's like people that I hate to compare it to gambling, but you know, that guy that, you know, has a sickness and you wake up at for breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning and he's still there at the table. Okay. And like, I thought the guy did great. Why is he still there? You know, but we were the smart ones. We did walk away. So that's what usually I kind of look at it. So, you know, if you had a good week, finish out the week, you don't want to have a bad taste in your mouth going into month. And that's how most traders think. All right. So there you go, guys. There's our watch list. Before we go, if you are a cyber trader student, don't forget today we start phase two again. So you probably got the log on instructions. If you do want to find out about how to get into those classes, because remember, you have to learn before you could earn. Make sure you talk to education advisor here at Cyber Trade University and I'll tell you how to get in those rooms. All right. In the meantime, for all of you here on YouTube and Facebook Live here in the Cyber Group room, we'll start commentary at uh, 9, uh, 935. And then for everybody on YouTube, Facebook Live, we'll be back here at 230 for you guys. All right, guys, happy trading and I'll see you all. Uh, see you then. And if I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. Happy trading, everyone, and be safe.